Even if an aircraft is approved for flight into known icing conditions, experienced pilots know that continued flight in these conditions should be avoided. So how can we use SXM weather products in our efforts to avoid icing? In this video, we will look at weather products that show freezing levels and how to use icing nowcast. As you know, as pilot in command, it's your responsibility to determine if and where icing conditions exist. Good pre-flight planning will help give you the best weather outlook for your route of flight. First, let's look at the freezing level feature. Freezing level uses color-coded contour lines to indicate the lowest forecast altitude where icing conditions are likely to occur by showing where the temperature is at or below freezing. Freezing level is indicated by color-coded contour lines for the altitude and location at which the first isotherm is found. Freezing levels are contoured in increments of hundreds of feet. Here, in this example, we see that the yellow-orange color indicates a freezing level at 14,000 feet, and the yellow is at 12,000 feet. The small light green circular area indicates the freezing level at 10,000 feet. New data appears when it becomes available, updating every 30 minutes. When no data is displayed for a given altitude, the data for that altitude has not been received, or is out of date and has been removed from the display. Current icing potential, or CIP data, highlights the current icing environment at select altitudes through icing nowcast. The data is presented in terms of probability and gives you a graphical view of the icing environment, both the current icing potential, or CIP, and the supercooled large droplets, or SLD, are depicted. The CIP product is not a forecast, but a presentation of the current conditions at the time of the analysis. The SLD icing conditions are characterized by the presence of relatively large, supercooled water droplets indicative of freezing drizzle and freezing rain aloft. SLD threat areas are depicted as black and magenta dots over the icing colors. The product ranges from the surface up to 30,000 feet, at intervals of 3,000 feet. The timestamp indicates the time of data compilation. Some units display current icing severity, or CIS, You can use freezing levels and CIPs as supplemental information to SIGMETs and AIRMETs. AIRMETs are routinely issued for six-hour periods and are amended as necessary. Icing forecasts are displayed as blue shaded areas on the map display. Icing PIREPs can also give you another valuable tool. Icing conditions are depicted with the symbols shown here. Selecting the PIREP will give you additional detailed information, including the altitude aircraft type, and type and severity of the icing encounter. By incorporating freezing levels, icing nowcast, airmets, sigmets, and pyreps into your flight planning in-flight weather analysis, you'll be equipped to make the best possible decisions to avoid hazardous weather.